Hi all, welcome for everyone. Um, today, welcome to the Friday session and uh, room Salta rooms. Uh, today we will have a lot of presentation. Uh, the presentation is divided in two parts. The speaker will talk about 20, 25 minutes, and then we will we will have time for questions. Okay. Uh, okay, the speak the first speaker will be uh, Benoit de Meso. I will end in this panel. Um, Just a while. He he will uh, talk about 3D urban data in QGIS. <clears throat> Benoit de Meso works for Oslandia on complex GIS architectures. Uh, and on the development of additional functionality to QGIS. Uh, he's a software architect and has a PhD in image analysis. Um, okay, Benoit, go ahead. Feel free to start when you're ready. Okay, great. Uh, hello, everybody. So uh, we'll talk uh, about uh, our current work in progress uh, about uh, 3D urban data in QGIS. Um, first uh, question is what uh, you... Okay. Sorry, I got uh, some uh, echo in in my ears, so I can't sell that. Uh, I'll be back. So, uh, no, what uh, using uh, what about using uh, tweeting in JIS system? Uh, uh, so right. Only, yes. only, uh, please, can you mute your venueless? Uh, can you mute your venueless and put only the string R? Excuse me, can you repeat? Because I yes. got an echo. Yes, can you mute your venueless and put only your uh, or close your oh, venueless? So yes, close your venueless. If not, we will have problems. Okay. Only a string R. Uh, it's currently closed. It's working right at the dim end. Yeah, okay. Um, back again. I'm so sorry. Uh, I will uh, talk about... Um... Benoit, I... can, you close, can you close your venueless? And my venueless? What's my... Yes, the part uh, there, the, the, the another browser that you have, open it, open it there. Uh, that, please close that. That's perfect. Now you are online, okay? Sorry. Uh, excuse me, i going to start again, so. Um, so, excuse me, uh, make problems. Uh, so I went uh, to talk about uh, 3D in JIS. Um, I would like uh, to uh, talk about uh, the the need of uh, 3D in JIS system because uh, mainly uh, they are done for uh, 2D uh, 2D maps. But uh, sometimes we have uh, some uh, complex data from uh, 3D uh, data sets, and we may like uh, to display them to enrich the 2D maps, or maybe uh, to uh, have some uh, kind. Um, of uh, event simulation or, or whatever we can uh, do uh, to enrich uh, map and visualization. Um, so complex data set uh, means uh, we have to handle uh, some kind of data, data from uh, buildings, for example, inside buildings, outside buildings, with interiors, maps, uh, textures. And uh, we have uh, also to handle, uh, we can handle, 
city data uh, on uh, or uh, like uh, dry holes also uh, like uh, we have uh, to do in uh, another project uh, we have to uh, represent drill holes in uh, QGIS so uh, this uh, complex uh, data set uh, may have uh, some specific needs because uh, they are huge, they are heavy, uh, they uh, cannot be loaded at once in, the, uh, in QGIS. So we have to introduce uh, some, uh, some uh, smart data loading system. Um, but uh, by the way, uh, they, they have to be uh, also pickable and uh, stillable. You, have to, you should have to be able to select an object, retrieve some attributes, and change the styles and the color, um, whatever you want. Uh, in the case we have a too big data set, uh, you, uh, the data set uh, may not be usable like that. So we need, uh, you may need to uh, slice it uh, in, uh, into smaller parts and we'll project uh, that uh, slice to, uh, to the view, to inspect and uh, have a better understanding of, um, of the data set. But uh, there are so many uh, formats uh, in a kind of objects that we can uh, display in 3D. We can display uh, some uh, point cloud, we can display, display meshes, we can display uh, um, objects, uh, previously uh, modelized objects. And uh, we have to uh, be able to handle all this format. Uh, but each format has uh, its uh, own problems on uh, difficulties to represent and uh, this uh, specific usage. By the way, uh, if you are losing, looking for an, um, a, a cloud point uh, representation, we have uh, some raw data, but you cannot really use it because uh, you can uh, not uh, pick an object, you cannot uh, see change the texture, uh, and you have no faces, you, are not, you cannot do many things. Uh, some evolution of the dataset is uh, using uh, some mesh dataset, where here we have uh, some uh, wall, a uh, only wall mesh, uh, textured one. You can uh, pretty uh, well uh, see uh, all the buildings, but you cannot uh, pick a building. You cannot retrieve attributes on the buildings. Uh, the, ne the next stage is uh, having uh, some uh, pre-modelized objects of uh, this um, dataset. But uh, in this case, you have to uh, add the textures data. Uh, it's a big work to uh, to um, to come from a uh, cloud point to uh, this kind of dataset. But you uh, may have uh, to handle all these kind of dataset. In QGIS, when you would like to handle complex 2D sense. So, uh, to handle all this kind of data, uh, we need some um, uh, format, some specification that can, uh, that can um, be able to uh, manipulate level of detail information, uh, information for a specific uh, in, um, level of detail. Then you go closer, you have some information, other finer information, and then you go closer on again, and go on again, some finer information. Uh, we are on, only focused for now uh, on uh, EFC and uh, in the BIM uh, format, but this is a future work. We are still uh, looking how to do it. And now we are we, we will talk about uh, 3D tiles, the main format we are focused and try to integrate into QGIS. Uh, but what is 3D tiles? 3D tiles is a format specification done by Cesium for them, for Cesium. Uh, which means uh, uh, this is a format done for web application. And as it is a web application, if you want to display a big data set of data, a big uh, big data set, big tile set, you have uh, you can't do it uh, at once. You can't load all the data at once. So you have to um, use in the three tiles data set specification in the zone like that. It's a hierarchical data set. All the uh, data set is uh, described in JSON and uh, data set can contain data sets. So uh, all the description of data sets are uh, JSON, as I already said. But all the mesh data, the texture data, the 
other 3D data are then uh, defined in binary file in the GLTF format. Also, uh, as uh, Cesium uh, is only working in the web application on uh, the globe, Earth globe, um, they use a specific uh, dedicated, uh, not a dedicated, dedicated, but specific projection. It's a 39778 uh, um, projection. This projection is as centered in matrix and uh, to have uh, a point to describe a point on the on the earth in this projection, you need uh, to have explicitly the three coordinate, the x, y, and z. Image, please. There we are. Um, but what about uh, 3D in QGIS? QGIS, uh, has introduced uh, 3D since uh, the 2.2 uh, dots, sorry, uh, 18 version, talking in the um, mid 70s, 70s, <laughs> 17. And, um, but QGIS is designed, it was designed for uh, 2D maps, not uh, well, um, it's not a well uh, done uh, viewer of uh, 3D data. Uh, by the fact, uh, if you want to see uh, your data and manipulate uh, 3D objects, you have uh, to go through the um, dedicated uh, 3D view. If you want to see your 3D data in the main view, you have to reproject, to have um, QGIS will reproject them in 2D, in, uh, in the bottom view, in the up, up to bottom view. But uh, even the second case, we can some um, partial edition in the mesh, uh, some mesh in a 2D and half um, edition. Uh, all the work you can be made uh, in QGIS in 3D is made on a, is based on the QT5. QT5 uh, has a specific uh, 3D uh, engine and. Uh, all the, uh, the, the work uh, is done by the uh, QT parts. But, uh, sorry, uh, there are some drawbacks in uh, using QD in QGIS because uh, as I said previously, um, QGIS uh, is mainly done uh, to exploit, uh, to use uh, 2D uh, coordinates, uh, say uh, longitude, longitude, plus, uh, plus the elevation. Uh, in many parts of the code, uh, you have uh, um, you can have some drop of the z coordinates because uh, they only uh, consider uh, longitude and latitude. And uh, in, uh, in the kind of uh, geodesic centered projection, this does not work. You cannot just remove uh, the third coordinate, the third component of the coordinate, and be uh, happy with that. Uh, you have um, a non-working uh, point. So you have to, yes, there are some uh, change to be done uh, in the core of QGIS. Also, uh, there are many improvements that have been done in QT6, um, and uh, we have some drawbacks in using QT5, uh, the 2D provided by QT5. But uh, for now, uh, the evolution um, from QT5 to QT6 uh, in QGIS is not uh, in the roadmap for now. Uh, we have so to work and and continue to work uh, with uh, the exist existing um, drawbacks. And uh, over the top of uh, QT, you have also the uh, software overlay provided by um, QGIS. But there are many things that will always be done in uh, QGIS according the for the 3D. Uh, in the 3D view, you can widget in the widget viewer, you have uh, the ability to uh, do a selection of object, 3D object. You can uh, change the style. Here is a, we have a view of a 3D building uh, with uh, conditional styles. Don't, and uh, you have the ability also to apply some textures to 3D object. So there are many, many things that have already been done. 
Uh, and the main uh, point uh, that may interest us in the in 3D tile support, it's uh, there are already uh, an um, LOD system defined in QGIS to handle the um, 3D data set. So, what uh, do we need to do to integrate uh, 3D tiles in QGIS? To do that, uh, we have to um, provide uh, some uh, a way to uh, load the data set, the hierarchical data set, uh, to map it uh, onto the QGIS uh, LOD systems. We have, uh, we have uh, to uh, be able to handle properly the GLTF uh, files, type, kind of files, because uh, this is uh, this is where uh, the mesh data, the texture data, are stored in uh, the 3D, 2D tiles uh, specification. And as uh, in QGIS, we are not working on the globe; uh, we are working on a flat ground. Uh, we have to do some work uh, to build project. Um, the data are from two details, which are defined in uh, 4978 projection uh, to another projection, uh, say the 2857 uh, one, still in metric. Also, we have uh, to uh, bring some support to be able to use the uh, style in selection uh, of objects uh, from the already existing uh, feature of QGIST to uh, the 3 detail support. Um, so what we've done? We have uh, put, uh, we have created um, a QUP. This is a QGIS enhancement proposal uh, to um, to use to um, to uh, I don't lost my word uh, to. Um, Propose uh, the, to the community uh, the evolution of uh, two details in the integration of two details down into QGIS. We have built uh, a 3D um, a 3D style set loading with a lazy support. We only load the tiles when it's only lead. We can read uh, remote files. We can uh, we see it in the, in the demonstration. Uh, we have uh, worked with uh, GLTF support, but uh, you have some drawbacks. So it's, it's, it's a very simple, simplistic, a very basic uh, GLTF support. In my work, we have worked uh, on uh, fix the reprojection um, from uh, the geocentric uh, system uh, from 3D tiles. Uh, I'll be more precise about what we've done uh, about reading uh, the GLTF files. Um, currently, the GLTF files are um, supported by uh, Qt 3D, so that's fine. There's uh, a specific a specificity in um, in Qt 3D. It is a same loader. It can uh, read it can read uh, complex uh, 3D files. Uh, and uh, you can read uh, GLTF files. You can uh, extract from GLTF files um, textures, meshes, materials, shaders. So, so that's great. For, to, do that, to do that, it uses a specific uh, li library which exists uh, elsewhere. Uh, this one, maybe, yes. You can, you can, uh, we can load with this library uh, many, many file forms. But uh, this library uh, is not um, completely mapped uh, in a Qt 3D send loader. So, for example, we cannot uh, load the binary file format uh, which is used in 3D tiles. Uh, this is, the format is not uh, supported. So, we have to use another library to load the file format from 3D tiles. So GLTF from 2 details and uh, save them uh, in a format uh, which be able to be loaded by the same loader of Qt 3D. Uh, also, there are some other limitations. Uh, currently, uh, the, the same loader uh, generate uh, uh, entities from uh, the GLTF uh, 3D entities. But uh, you cannot uh, read all the mesh that can be defined in the GLTF. Mainly, uh, in the in the common case, uh, we have only mesh per, per file, per files, p 
pair files, uh, but it's not always the case. And uh, when you have multiple mesh, only one mesh is reused. Although um, even uh, if it seems the material and texture can be properly extracted, we can use it uh, for now. Uh, so in a future demonstration, the, we cannot prove uh, the texture extraction. Uh, now I would like to speak about um, the difficulties about uh, reprojection uh, from uh, the, the, the mesh defined in a 4978 uh, coordinate system uh, to the uh, flat ground. Uh, for example, uh, here is a dragon from um, the sampled, um, the sesium sample. If we put it uh, in a uh, huge ice, uh, if, you put, if you put the mesh directly extracted from the GLTF um, in a huge ice, uh, we saw uh, that uh, this uh, dragon is not uh, well oriented. We have uh, to fix uh, the, the world, the pitch, and the yo according to its uh, position on the globe. Uh, and after some um, computation, uh, according to the position of the, of the object uh, around the globe, we compute some um, self correction to apply to it. And then we can say you can put it uh, well and flat on the ground. Here's the explanation uh, we take this dragon and put it uh, in Blender. Uh, as we can see here, the same dragon uh, is uh, 0 centered. I have uh, no uh, your page uh, in wall uh, rotation. It's uh, just flat on the ground uh, in zero centered. This dragon is fine, and we can use it uh, directly in um, in QGIS with the support we have provided. But here's a bad example. Uh, I provided for it. Uh, it comes from another tile set, and uh, we saw that. It is not zero centered, and it has already uh, have uh, orientation and rotation defined. And this kind of uh, object cannot be uh, well placed uh, in the in QGIS. It can be put flat. We cannot uh, compute uh, the correction to to, def to put it flat on the ground. So uh, what we need it's a centered object uh, one zero. And the rotation and uh, translation will be must be defined in the uh, tile set definition. We have a transform matrix, and all the air must be defined. Not elsewhere. So uh, now a quick demonstration of what we have already uh, succeed to do. Uh, first, uh, dra drag the dragon from Cesian, uh, Japanese house, and some data from uh, uh, NSA. NSA. In ASA, sorry. So here's the dragon. Uh, as you can see, the color uh, is due to the death, uh, the tiles death, and uh, not uh, from uh, the texture, as we can, cannot display texture. The more we get closer, uh, we can we can see more details. Here we can see the scale, uh, and we go back uh, the scale disappear, and we have unload the. Um, the find uh, the find object uh, to uh, show the the coarser object uh, as a Japanese OS. Uh, it's a more complex uh, sample. We can see that uh, we can uh, when we go uh, closer than the angle, we load the the finer the finer tiles. Tiles, sorry, uh, and we go to the roof of the house, we can see uh, if we can um, on the more closer, we can we will load the tile. And we, we, if we go outside the burning box of the, of the, um, the roof, we get the coarser version. And if we go closer to the roof, we, have, we got the finer version. We got, oh, OK. And uh, I quick do the uh, last video, and um, we will see that we can be able to load some kind of landscape provided by the NASA. And uh, the closer we get, the finer we get, we saw that the tiles uh, are loaded properly here. 
Oh, okay. So, um, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I would like to thank you also for Svergy. And uh, now it's time question, if you have some. Yes, uh, thank you for your presentation, Benoit. Uh, it's been really interesting for all of us. And yes, we have a lot of questions uh, from the audience. Um, I will put here the first one was, uh, are there ways to visualize indoor network uh, using the 3D visualizer features in QGIS? Um, uh, what do you call uh, indoor networks? Uh, you can uh, uh, currently in uh, QGIS uh, visualize um, 3D data. And uh, so you can, if you have a 3D uh, data from a building and you can go inside the data. Uh, from the calling system, you will not see uh, the, uh, the, the the all all the um, uh, I can say the outside the body of the building. If you go inside the building, okay, but, perfect. Um, here is there is another question. Uh, can other projection be used? Uh, now, because it's uh, defined uh, by the specific the two. 3D tile specification uh, clearly defines that uh, only uh, the uh, 4978 uh, projection can be used. Um, when uh, you, uh, I've done the, pre the demonstration uh, for the Japanese Japanese house and the um, uh, NS, uh, a uh, demonstration, demonstration, we use um, in QGIS as uh, a native 3D tile projection. Hence the um, 4978. Okay. And we only use uh, the, um, in the demonstration with the dragon, we use uh, the other projection. We reproject the um, 4978 to uh, uh, 3857. Uh, sorry. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so we have a lot of questions. I don't know if all of them can be answered, but um, there is another one. Uh, what plugins do you recommend to work with 3D in QGIS? Uh, what can, what plugins are you talking about? Because uh, the 3D is already working uh, out of the box uh, with QGIS, so we, you don't need plugins. Uh, and the the current work uh, I've presented is not uh, um, merged in the trunk. Sorry, okay. it's, it's not able. And there is another one uh, <laughs> about <Good>. plugins <laughs> and that's, uh, that's, that's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's a very good question. Uh, I don't know, um, we have not uh, reached a step, but uh, indeed uh, it will be, um, it will be nice uh, to be able uh, to serve um, uh, to details, uh, but uh, this is not uh, the purpose of QGIS. Uh, there are already a system uh, they, we are, which are able to uh, provide uh, to details. It is not uh, the main purpose, but it can be a um, um, future feature. Perfect. Um, Benoit, thank you so much for your presentation. You're welcome. Um, uh, so if anyone needs to contact you, uh, can do it through. Uh, I'll where, be on the chat uh, if you like uh, to. Okay, <laughs> on Benules and here. Yeah, okay, perfect. So thank you so much. We are going to to, to the next presentation.